On the 30th of August 1967, Thurgood Marshall became the first African American to be confirmed as a justice of the US Supreme Court. Welcome to History Pod. Thurgood Marshall was born on July 2, 1908, in Baltimore, Maryland. He graduated from Lincoln University in Pennsylvania and later from Howard University School of Law. Here he was mentored by prominent civil rights lawyer Charles Hamilton Houston, who played a crucial role in shaping Marshall's legal philosophy. Marshall went on to have an illustrious legal career, most notably as the chief counsel for the NAACP. In this role, he argued several landmark cases before the Supreme Court, including Brown v. the Board of Education in 1954. This case led to the court's unanimous decision to declare state laws establishing separate public schools for black and white students unconstitutional, marking a pivotal moment in the fight against racial segregation in the United States. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy appointed Marshall to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. He served in this position until 1965, when President Lyndon B. Johnson appointed him as the first African-American Solicitor General of the United States. As Solicitor General, Marshall won 14 of the 19 cases he argued before the Supreme Court, further cementing his reputation as an outstanding lawyer and advocate for civil rights. President Johnson subsequently nominated Marshall to the Supreme Court itself on June 13, 1967, to replace Justice Tom C. Clark, who was retiring. Despite facing opposition from some Southern senators, Marshall's nomination was confirmed by the Senate with a vote of 69 to 11 on August 30, 1967. This marked the first time an African American had sat on the Supreme Court of the United States, and Marshall served until his retirement in 1991.